volume of a cylinder with a hemisphere dome less than 13.3 D. When two figures are combined to form one figure, it's called a composite figure. We can combine a cylinder with a hemisphere to make a farm silo, a deodorant can, even a mushroom, or the layout of a house. Remember that radius is half of a diameter. Okay, that'll help you. We have our cylinder volume formula. We have our cone volume formula and our sphere volume formula. We're going to use these to find the volume of a cylinder with a hemisphere dome. It says to find the volume to the nearest tenth. So the first thing we're going to do is find the volume of the cylinder part. The height is six inches and the radius is two inches. And if you look in this drawing, it tells you that the radius is here. That's because the radius is the same as down here at the base, okay? We're going to do volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. So the radius is 2, so we're going to do 2 squared, and the height is 6, so we're going to multiply it by 6. We can multiply in any order. We can do the 3.14 times the 4, or we could do the 4 times the 6. It doesn't matter. It's all going to equal the same thing in the end, right? 4 times 6 is 24. When we multiply that by our value for pi, it's going to be an approximation because we're not multiplying by all the digits of pi, and we get 75.36 inches cubed. We set this amount aside, and now we find the volume of the dome. And here is the volume of a sphere formula. We divide it by 2 because our dome is only half of a sphere. It's a hemisphere. It doesn't matter what order we multiply them in, right? We put in our radius of 2, and it's cubed for the volume. So we have to do 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. We multiply 4 thirds times the 3.14, do the numerator first, okay? And we get 4.18, and that's going to be multiplied to the 8. We divide it by 2 and get 33.44 divided by 2 is approximately 16.72 inches cubed. That's the dome. Now, to get the total volume, we add the volume that we got for the cylinder. And we get 92.8 inches cubed, but we're not done because we need to answer exactly what it asked of us. It said to find the volume to the nearest tenth. So if we answered this on a test, we'd get it marked wrong. It's not to the nearest tenth. This 8 tells the 0 to go up to a 1, and then it drops off when it's done. So really, it's 92.1 inches cubed, okay, to the nearest tenth for our total volume, okay? So just remember, when you're dealing with a hemisphere, if it tells you height or radius, it's the same thing, because as it, the, the height and radius are the same thing. It's the same distance from the center point, because it's a dome. It's a hemisphere, okay? All right. If you need any extra help, or if you skipped the lessons before this, there's going to be a link in the description to the grade 7 13.3a b and c videos that preceded this video okay that talked about volume of a sphere i hope you're having a great day keep up the good work i'll see you next time bye